If you're a gun owner in House District number 24, way up in the top corner of Park County, way up here against the Montana border, one of the most beautiful parts of the world when it comes to beauty and to just the, the power of God's creation, you may be wondering right now, I got a primary coming up. I got two ladies who want to represent me, fight for my gun rights in Cheyenne for the next two years. Who's the pro-gun candidate? It's easy to get busy and not have time to research these candidates. That's what our job here at Wyoming Gun Owners is. My name is Aaron Dorr with WIGO. And guys, we have information for gun owners in this district up here in HD 24. We got two gals who want to represent gun owners, represent you in Cheyenne over the next two years. One of them, Nina Weber, has surveyed 100%, top to bottom, she's 100% opposes the gun control agenda items, all of them, red flags, waiting periods, AR-15 bans, gun registrations, fixed NICs, all of it. Even the Republican-sponsored gun control bills, she opposes all of it. And Nina Weber has also signed the WIGO Leadership Pledge. This means she's promised to lead in the fight for gun rights by sponsoring pro-gun bills in Cheyenne, a very rare characteristic. We have a lot of people who simply don't want the hassle and don't want the headache of being a sponsor on pro-gun bills because the media will attack you, your caucus leaders will attack you, uh, the left will attack you. It's not always without cost. So for Nina Weber, 100% pro-gun, 100%, and she will sponsor pro-gun bills. That brings up Sandy Newsom. Sandy's the incumbent in this race, hasn't been in office very long, but she's quickly made a name for herself in Cheyenne as being that do nothing moderate who the leadership team can always count on to oppose gun bills when it counts and to be a, to be a safe leadership vote. What that means is if leadership wants to advance a bill, she'll vote yes. If they wanna kill a bill, she'll vote no. She does not, let me repeat this twice, she does not vote for her constituency, she votes to maintain her good graces and her favor with Speaker Harshman and the leadership team in Cheyenne. And that's why she's fast becoming known as one of the most moderate lawmakers in Wyoming right now in the House in Cheyenne. She voted no. She voted no on House Bill 183 just last year. This is our signature bill in 2019. It would repeal all, repeal all of the gun-free gun zones we have here in Wyoming. All the government buildings that our tax dollars pay for that we can't carry in right now, this bill, HB 183, it would have repealed all of that. And it's important because gun-free zones are lethally dangerous. Everyone knows this. Our bill would have fixed that. And on January 31st, 2019, Cindy Newsom voted to attack your gun rights, voted against this bill. It was a shocking betrayal to gun owners in that Park, uh, Park County area of Wyoming. Sandy has never surveyed with Wyoming gun owners, not just this year. She also refused to survey last year. And we can easily see now why she's doing that. She votes for gun control. She votes against your freedom. So she's not going to sign a survey and give her constituents that much more proof to document her betrayal. So she refused to survey this year, refused to survey last year. And so for gun owners who are asking, well, will Sandy even oppose red flag gun seizures? Well, you don't know. We don't know. She won't say. Will she oppose anything else? Will she oppose AR-15 bans or gun registries or fixed NICs or waiting periods? We don't know. Sandy Newsom simply won't say. The, fa the fact of the matter is that she'll do whatever she's told to do by the higher ups in Cheyenne because Sandy Newsom is not there to fight for her district. She's there to fight for her career and she'll do whatever it takes to please leaders, a leadership team in Cheyenne uh, to accomplish that mission. So again, if you're getting tuned in late, talking about Park County, District 24, up here in the top corner of Wyoming. This features Nina Weber, 100% pro-gun, top to bottom, front to back, good to go on gun rights. Newsom, history of voting against pro-gun bills, a refusal to sign the WIGO candidate questionnaire, and a, and, a, and a big reputation of being a moderate lawmaker in Cheyenne. So if you live in that Park County area, 
or, or know people who do in that Park County area, live up there, be sure to forward this video to them, pass it around, put it on your Facebook page, share it on social media, make sure people know the truth about these two candidates. One's gonna fight for gun rights, and one's gonna fight for a career track. And if that means your gun rights have to sacrifice or be sacrificed, Newsom's okay with that. Guys, pass this video around far and wide. And again, go to joinwigo.com to sign up as a member of WIGO today. Thanks.